Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we officially joined the Liberation of Night. And we've continued our ambition quest by asking them about the courtesy. And the next thing to do for that is go to the House of Rods and Chains and see if we can speak with a son. Sorry to kind of pull the rug out, because I know at the end of the last episode I said that's what we'd be doing, but then I was thinking about it and I realized... That seems like the sort of thing that would has a pretty good chance of increasing your nightmares, and I my nightmares are already maxed. So I don't feel comfortable actually doing that right now. I think I want to wait till my nightmares are lower. And to do that, I need more moments of inspiration. And to get those, I need to just do stuff in Eleutheria. So let's just do stuff. So yeah, House of Rods and Chains, don't want to go there yet. Caduceus, my soul is stained right now. Which I probably should have taken care of when I was in the Reach, actually. But anyway, I don't think they would accept me there, still. Langley Hall, I also need moments of inspiration for. Ackles, we just came from. So, that leaves the Eagles Empyrean. I know we have some stuff to do there. If nothing else, we have that, uh, remember that like flower story thing that we were supposed to take here to finish their story? around Death's Door in the Blue Kingdom. That's supposed to be taken there. And then, of course, we have at least another port, probably two ports, to find in Eleutheria. So let's go to the Eagle's Empyrean. Again, don't think I'm going to cut this out right now because it's been so long since we've been here. I suppose the Liberation of Night people would still shoot at me if I have my lights on, right? Even though I've joined them? I don't know, worth testing. Also looking for blind hermitages. That might be one up here. I don't remember exactly why, but I know I need them. Oh, it was for sigils, wasn't it? of night, or midnight, is it? Oh, what's that over there? Oh, I think this is a blind hermitage. Yes! Gather a fragment of a lost sigil. You ignore the hermit and focus on the marked tablets by the cave entrance. One is broken. This half holds a piece of a sigil. The sigil appears to have been drawn in blood. The split across it is so neat it can only have been deliberate. The sound of jostling pottery is musical. The hermit's head jerks towards you, but they do not attempt to stop you when you pocket the fragment. Kind of rude to just ignore them, come onto their home, and just take this little <laughs> piece of a sigil and then just run. I mean, I basically stole it from them, right? The Belt of Midnight. I love that 
purple lightning. Careful aim on my part. doing a terrible job dodging and hitting them. To be fair, I haven't played this game in a while. There we go. Jesus. Get some bronze wood. Didn't encounter the liberation of night here. of lights. What should I do first? Oh right, they sell their own special type of ship. A bargain of Novartine gemstones, heck yeah. Well, let's get a port report if nothing else. London's Enclave. Port report. Here's the quest that I was thinking of. Finish an unfinished story for the Gardener Archivist. Instigate conflict. Answer questions. Tie loose threads. The Unflower can guide you. You read the petals of the Unflower. It blackens and wilts in your hands. It becomes apparent what you must do to bring the story to an end. You storm into the London Embassy and grab a frightened diplomat by the labels. He still loves you, Frederick, you cry. When you overheard him and Percy, they weren't lovers in earnest. They were only rehearsing for a play. Now go to him and quick, because next week he's due to be married to the loathsome Margaret. You depart before Frederick has a chance to ask any questions. I hope that was a good ending to the story. <laughs> Do I need to take that back? I probably have to go back to the Gardener Archivist for that to really do anything, right? Enjoy respite at the Maiden and Unicorn, tea shop on the edge of the lane. So I've done this before. Okay, yeah, it doesn't do anything in particular. The London Embassy, which, remember, I don't want to help them because London sucks. I want to help the Empyrean because, well, they're not London, basically. 
So let's get the hell out of there and go to the bespectacled official. Yeah, they're enemies with the Liberation of Night, and I am the Liberation of Night, so I guess they're kind of enemies with me. Because they want plaques from a Dowser engine, which are the Liberation of Night people's engines. What are the Khan's current interest, interests? They want special port reports, right? Caduceus is what they want. Okay. Let's get inside of the Empyrean. Oh, do I need to repair my locomotive? Does that just cost normal amounts of money? Is this more expensive than repairing it at the main port? I don't know. But it seems reasonable. 30 sovereigns. Sure. Oh yeah, I think... Oh right, it, it, here in Eleutheria, it takes Eleutherian Mysteries to repair your hole, doesn't it? And don't those only repair your hole halfway of whatever damage you've taken? If you've taken 20 damage, it repairs it by 10 hit points. So actually, it's much better to repair it here. Ooh, what is this? An Outrider prepares for launch. Beyond the city, the Eagle's latest ship prepares to head out into the heavens. Around the docks, the, tr the crowd does its part by releasing paper lanterns into the night air and cheering the sky-faring heroes. I can recruit young Empyreans for my crew, or join in with the ceremonies. Young. Define young. Like kids? <laughs> I hope not. Uh, join in with the ceremonies. Slower or tear. It's a 20%. Now it's a 10. You were made unusually welcome amongst the Empyrean citizens and encouraged to construct your own traveling lantern. For once, they use candles rather than electricity. White, pristine, waxy. You fold the bright paper as instructed and release it into the air to join the rest. Together, they rise proudly past the Xanthus moon and disappear into the darkness, carrying the defiance of light against the liberation of night. Nice rhyme. Also I'm part of the liberation of night. Awkward. Piece of checkpoint. Yeah, guards, check me out. Alright, I think we can do one thing before we get kicked out. Shang Tu, the District of Recreation and Amusement. Don't really need terror reduction. Khan's Market. All merchants in the Empyrean, whether citizen or not, operate only with the express permission of the Eagle Khan. Might want to go there. The Ovo of Returned Skies. The spiritual heart of the Empyrean. A sanctuary for its citizens and a monument to its entry into the heavens. I'm on the lookout for moments of inspiration. The Ovo of Return Skies sounds maybe promising. You set out to the Ovo, passing through the lantern-strung streets of the richer districts. Citizens hurry past, some fearfully watching the skies. The belt of midnight is too close for the Empyrean's comfort. The Eagle's moon cannot drive away so much dark. Each street is lit by evenly placed electric lights. The light is cold and casts hard shadows. Empyrean citizens hurry by in silks and cloth. There's always somewhere to be in the Empyrean. All who live here work. There's no space for idleness. Navigate in the dark. 93% chance of success. Nice. Lights on the street ahead fail suddenly. The Empyrean suffers periodic bouts of darkness as power stalls. Can you find your way? I think I did this once before, but I think I failed to get very far and ended up having to turn around or something. Navigate in the dark, 93% chance, success. There are a few curses as the district plunges into night, but any who have been in the Empyrean long are familiar with these periodic bouts of lightlessness. Citizens grope their way down the main thoroughfares, traveling in numbers and down familiar routes. You stick by a group of guards, visible by the light of a lantern hung from a nearby window. They walk beside you, until, with a thrumming spark, light floods the Empyrean once more. Tale of Terror. And I'm at my destination. I can't spend an evening because why? Oh, the eagle has to consider me an agent. 
I guess I need to do more to help out the Empyreans. I have done very little so far. I think I've turned in maybe like one port report. The Ovo stands before you, as promised, a mass of stone and bone forming a labyrinth around a mound. A withered branch from a massive silver tree rises towards the sky. From it hangs a cobalt-hued kadog. A kadog is apparently a Mongolian ceremonial scarf. Wander through the ovo of the returned sky. Here the electric lights have given way to paper lanterns. They hang from cords that zigzag the square surrounding the central mound. You follow the lanterns, passing between the stacks of stone and wood and bone. It's built like a labyrinth. Mosaics on the walls depict the history of the Eagle's Empyrean. Its fall and its rise through the gates of the Avid Horizon to here. You eventually find your way to the center. A statue of a woman stands there, dressed in the ceremonial robes of an Imperial Queen. She's reaching up. The ceiling above you is a dome painted like a starry sky. Suspended from it, reaching down for the woman's hand is a statue of an elegant courtier. After a while, a troop of very polite guards escort you out of the Empyrean to the port. You've seen enough for today, they say. Vision of the heavens, that's good. With five of those, I can get a moment of inspiration from the Grievers. And uh, I think that's all we can do here, really. Yeah, alright, I want to go exploring, so let's get some supplies. I already bought the deal that they had, right? The gems? Yep. Yeah, got four of them. <clears throat> yeah, let's go exploring. There's most likely a port up here, and then maybe, probably one down here. Maybe one down here, I'm not sure. So let's just go clockwise. I guess I've only seen the corner of the Eagle's Empyrean, huh? Just like kind of a couple buildings here. But there's quite a bit more to it. Moon's little sister. Hello. They surely wouldn't fire on me, right? No, even though I've officially joined the Liberation of Night, it doesn't seem like it's made everybody just instantly kill me on sight because of that. Oh, didn't mean to do that to do that. I wonder if they would shoot me if I had my lights off. Ah, whatever. They're all going away from me. sounds that's not the thunder normally that's not what it normally sounds like right what is that hmm maybe it is and it's just that it's particularly strong over here the lightning should I grab it yeah yeah all right that'll be fine I hear Curator's Hunt here, your lookout says, I think? That's why the Empyrean abandoned it? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be a Curator nearby. Oh, never mind, there is. Okay. This is gonna take a while, they have a lot of hit points. What a cool battleground to fight them in, though, huh? Are they running away from me? 
Are they scared of my light or something? What's going on? Like, I guess I'm not going to kill them if they're running away from me. Alright. Yeah, I don't have any particular reason to kill them. I'm not trying to hunt them for sport or anything. Like, they don't... They're not turning towards me to attack. That didn't sound good, but... I, I don't think they're attacking. I'm scared, but I'm holding back. Okay, they're attacking. Not a good idea. I get so impatient that I overload my heat. There's a terror reduction one. I've got 24% terror. That's really not bad at all. Let's search for treasures. I've done this before, so I'll just kind of skip through it. Examine the creature's collection. Four otherworldly artifacts. Not that I particularly need them right now, but that's really good. The Chagatai Expansion. I think these buildings look similar to the Empyrean stuff. Like maybe this maybe this was the Eagles Empyrean building here, and then it was abandoned because of the curators. And they actually did like a serious amount of building before they abandoned it. Because there's a lot of buildings there. <coughs> Should I get another one? I guess sure. That fight wasn't too bad at all. I don't think I took any damage. Oh, hello. Oh, right, I still have the Nameless Spirit on board. I mean, I should just let him go. I'm not going to be back to the Blue Kingdom for a while. Yeah, sorry, buddy. You're out of money or you're bored with the company. Well, neither, really, but... Yeah, sorry. The Nameless Spirit growls from deep within the jar. You do nothing. At the next port, the Nameless Spirit leaves your vessel and does not return. That wasn't the agreement. Wait, it wasn't? That wasn't the agreement, and they sound all pissed. I... I thought the agreement was just... I pay them monthly. And I've stopped paying them monthly, so they leave. That sounds... fair. Huh.
There it is. I don't want to lose it. It's so close to dead. It's running because it's so hurt now. It's faster than me, too. Stop running, please. Oh, what is this? <gasps> this is the crossroads, apparently. The one that the incognito princess needs to get to. A figure waits by the signpost. In silhouette, it resembles a woman in a long skirt. Up close, you hear the clatter of chitin, wrapped in layers of veils and shawls that smell of harsh antiseptic. Oh, I think I said chitin. I think it's chitin. A measurer, the stories go. A few of them have happy endings. What's a measurer? The figure introduces itself as Mistress Fathom and offers charity of a sort. A measure charity, to be exact. There's no reading the expression behind the veil. Oh, they can help me out with a sigil, too. <clears throat> well, let's do the Incognito Princess's quest first, just in case I can only do one thing. Help the princess meet the measurer's demands. I left an old thing in Paranesi, says the incognito princess to you both. But if I go in the main doors of that beastly place, I can't leave. You need to change to do so, and I'll only do that on my terms. The measurer listens and makes its demands. The princess looks at you and smiles. Ah, right, they need an unlicensed chart. That's no problem. So they don't want to change. Given the things we've seen from the Incognito Princess, I have to wonder why. Probably something terrifying. Like they don't want to reveal what's underneath or something. <laughs> the measurer takes the chart and holds it, as if it can ascertain its merit by its mere weight. Seemingly satisfied, it produces a candle made of beeswax. Oh, St. Solanasi's candle, says the princess, clapping her hands in delight. How ideal. St. Solanasi, rebellious story cast onto a well. Head to Paranesi, says the measurer. Light it. It will take you to your old self. The path will remain open as long as a tale of terror is being told. The measurer passes it to the princess, then takes her hand. When you come into power, remember me. It says. I will try, she says. But if I do that, I may remember you touched me without permission. Her smile is without malice, but not without threat. <laughs> Paranesi next. Saint Solanasi. A rebellious story cast unto a well. The name's familiar, Solanasi. And a rebellious story cast onto a well sounds like the Well of Wonders? But I don't know if that's what it's referring to. <clears throat> oh yeah, that just ended it. I'm glad I did that first. Are there like multiple of these? Surely I wasn't like, you can only do that one thing one time and then you can never talk with that person again, right? I hear another one. Hello. Man, there's a lot of them. Oh, no, no. That's the one I never killed. Ah. Okay, 34% tear. Now it's probably worth taking a trophy. Yeah. Down to 9%, and I got an uncanny specimen. like snapping sounds are disturbing This is another crossroads? 
Yeah, a few toppled bits of stone are all that remain of a once great crossroads. Same kind of description. So there's creatures called measurers waiting at all the crossroads, it seems. Except a gift of sustenance. Oh, these are kind of like lifelines. If you're really low on food or really low on whole, you can get them. But let's bribe them to let you copy the lost sigil. Gonna take two otherworldly artifacts. The measurer extends a carapist, many fingered hand. A sigil is branded on its palm. It closes its fingers with a click before you can see more. The measurer snatches the artifact from you and holds them to its chest. It clicks and croons contentedly. Almost absently, it extends its free arm towards you. You copy the sigil from the measurer's outstretched claw. You'll have to return to your cabin to identify it. The imagined contents of a span of time between what? What? It's cut off and also weirdly, like, not where it should be. The scenery along a road untaken. The garden of what ifs. A manufactured history. Consider the meaning of the sigil. No serious scholar of the correspondence has produced any work regarding it. Notes on the sigil cannot be found in any of the usual sources. It's briefly discussed in the book Guttering Embers, of which, thankfully, only partial copies remain. You have heard that Sing Jenkins went off the maps into the sunless wastes where the winds wait. You've also heard that one member of the expedition left them before they were lost and became one of Eleutheria's blind hermits. Perhaps you could find further sigils in these places. Oh, you have found enough sigils returned to the Forge of Souls. Oh. I wasn't expecting it so soon. I thought we needed a lot more. All right, cool. It's a sudden change of mood. something I see often. Is it coming from somewhere specific? There's a way back there. I want to go back there. Just the leaves make me think there's something special. Of course, nothing's actually getting marked on the map, so probably not, but I gotta look. Like 
this looks so special, this little cubby hole. But it's nothing. Listen to the winds howl. Incognita Princess looks towards Paranessi through the windows. This place makes my eyes itch. That's a weird thing to say. Also, we found Paranessi, apparently. Looks very pretty. Whoa, disturbance of the night. Ah, right. Um, Langley Hall. Join them, use some supplies or fuel, fuel to reduce terror. Nice, lovely little waterways. Looks beautiful. I wonder what this place is all about. Remember, we also need to come here for the Feline Eccentrics quest. 